What's up everybody, it's Scotty Hoy here. Um, as you can see in front of me, I got the Sony 4K recorder. This is on a trial run. I've had it for about two weeks. I'm a little bit drained, I've been sick. Weather has not been good, but I've been trying my best to shoot as much as I can with this. And tomorrow it's gotta go back. So, you know, I thought I'd just do a quickie little video here and show you guys the machine. So here it is, this is the 4K recorder. First of all, this is called the interface. Without the interface, there is no 4K. But with the interface, you'll have to use the memory card recorder. I'm gonna open this up for you. Let's show you inside. Put it open, push it out. So this is the AXSM memory card from Sony. This is 512 gigabytes, which gives you approximately about one hour of 4K footage. Then you attach the recorder to the interface, like so, clip it, Snap it down, make sure it's tight. And then of course, finally, you got this, the V-mount batteries. Now, with this setup, you're ready to shoot 4K with a Sony FS700. Takes a few seconds to boot up. Otherwise, once it's connected, by the way, it's connected by an SDI, a single SDI wire. So I can just go ahead and just show you, I might as well. And by the way, the FS700 has to be upgraded first. They will add some mechanics inside, change a little bit of the software. You get an extra picture profile, and then you connect the other side to the 4K recorder. You can see the SDI. And that's your basic setup. We're gonna boot this on. The camera's on, we're gonna turn this on. The FS700, you set all the settings for 4K, 2K, you set a super slow motion. Everything is done through here and it feeds back into the recorder. The recorder, you don't have to do anything. So I have simultaneous recording, so I can set it up. So once I record here on the machine, it records here on the 4K, or I can do it just manually down here. Now, if I shoot 4K, it will automatically record an HD version on the camera, which is fantastic. You got 4K, then you got a, an option to do 2K, and then you have 2K continuous slow motion, 200 frames per second, 240 if you shoot NTSC, and the 4K is 100, 120 frames per second, so it renders pretty quickly. We'll flip this around, and I'll show you one more side. This is the, another HDI out. Plug this in here. I'm gonna plug this into the external monitor. Oh, excuse me for the mounting. I just kinda threw this together real quick. Should be turning on, there you go. We can see some footage there. Can you see me? So there you go, so you can see all your footage, you can see all the playback from 4K on the external monitor just fine. And I gotta say, after doing this for two weeks, it has been a lot of fun. Some shots I've been holding the recorder handheld without mounting it to the camera. I still need time to find a really good rig for this because it's, by design, it's a, it's, since it's a separate machine, it's, you need to find something, a plate that will be able to mount both of them together. So it can be a little bit tricky. For the last two weeks, I've been able to shoot some music videos, uh, small documentaries, some charity videos. I've just taken the opportunity to shoot as much as I can with this. You'll probably see like a montage thing right now. Here, look at the montage. Just a small little preview of the 4K recorder. It's durable, it's thick, it works just fine. I had absolutely no problems with it. And if you guys wanna see more videos, just let me know. Comment, I'll try to put up some videos for you shortly. And I wanna thank Sony for lending this to me. They've been very helpful. And also Shiro Hong Kong have given me all the Zeiss lenses and the focus rigs. And thanks to all the people that helped me out. You know who you are. We got some excellent stuff. I can't wait to show it to you. The next step is now the editing and the post-production. So I'll get back to you on details with that. So thank you very much, and I'll see you soon. Go.